I gave my son $150 and taught him how to plan and execute a date. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to The Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Being a mother is not easy. Being a single mother is even much harder, right? Especially when you're raising up a son. Today's post comes from the spiritual word. They shared a TikTok that was posted by a lady sharing how she's teaching her son how to um, treat a woman when he takes her out on a date, right? This is a young black man. Guys, no more wasting time. Let's check it out. All right, so that's pretty much it. But just in case you guys didn't read um, the caption by caption that she was posting during the video, we're going to go through it one caption at a time. So the first one says, I gave my son $150 and taught him how to plan and execute a date. All right, so the next slide says, I made him make a proper reservation. Okay, so teaching your son how to wine and dine these three or fours. I see you. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> Next caption says, I told him to let me order first, then decide on his food, keeping the tip for the waitress in mind. Okay. I see some shrimp, probably lobster and um, other pricey um, menu items. All right. So the next caption reads, made sure he opened every door and taught him how to give compliments outside of looks. All right. Teach him how to validate these three or fours. We love to see it. <laughs> Okay, let's keep reading. All right, so the final caption reads, when we're about to leave the restaurant, the waitress came over to thank me and praise him. Um, and that's pretty much it. So first off, I wanna start off by saying this. This is not a video to bash this young black man. He looks sharp and props for that, right? But first, before I give you guys my breakdown on the situation, let's check out some of these comments. Of course, these women are ecstatic, right? They're happy, they like this coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Top comment says, aw, I love this. Next comment says, proper gentlemen, it's great to teach young men early because this society has a tight hold on young men and women. So obviously these women are excited to see what they think is a young man getting raised up to treat women the right way. Next comment says, because who else gonna do it? Hopefully, well, hopefully, ideally, his father was supposed to do this to him, right? Our final comment here says, kind of cringe, but it came from a wholesome place in her heart. All right, so I want to talk about this real quick, man. Um, I'm just going to say it right flat out. This woman is raising a simp, right? She's teaching this young man how to pander to women. Now, some of you guys may be saying, well, no, why, why can't we look at it like she's just teaching um, the young man how to treat a lady? Well, we can look at it that way, but the only problem is these women out here who she's preparing him for are not ladies. Too many women out here do this to young men. In fact, I actually had a friend whose mom raised him up just like this, right? She taught him how to simp and pander to women. What does that look like? Opening doors. In fact, it was so bad for this dude because I actually remember like, seen him and his mom interact, right? She would literally, I, I kid you not, walk up to her door, stop at the door and wait for him to open the door. And if he wasn't like paying attention or we're just talking and like chopping it up or whatever, she would like cough and be like, <clears throat> and he would be like, oh, oh my gosh, goes over, opens the door and she walks in. <laughs> I kid you not. She taught him to treat women like ladies. And when he grew up, and started to deal with real women in real life, in real society, they ate him up. They did not respect him. They walked over him. And worst of all, he didn't understand why, right? Because his whole life he was taught, well, that's how you treat a lady. But wait, I'm supposed to be a traditional man, but she's not traditional? That was the confusing thing. And this is what a lot of women, single mothers, 
who think that they're helping out their sons are doing. They're setting them up for failure. Your son is already getting taught how to be a simp by the media he consumes every day, by the schools he goes to in this gynocentric society. He's being taught to pander to women. And this is why single mothers produce the type of men who they don't respect. You don't have experience dealing with women out here, modern day women. You don't know how real it is out here dealing with modern day women who refuse to accept accountability, who often overestimate their value. Okay, before you get upset, I'm not talking about personal value. I'm talking about your sexual value, your SMV. A single mother doesn't know what it's like to deal with a vicious woman. A woman who's being manipulative, right? To be a man who doesn't have boundaries, lines that you can't cross. A man knows that and a man's supposed to be teaching him that. And a bunch of people in the comments, I didn't read it, but they said, well, what if he doesn't have any male figures? Go find male figures because hopefully these are men who you respect because they'll tell him the truth. They'll tell him that, hey, most of these women you don't want to treat like a lady because most of these women are 304s. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> but you don't like this coffee, right? Most of these women out here don't want their door opened. If you're out here dealing with these women, I'm telling you, I still, I will never forget the day I opened the door for a woman. Back in the days when I was a simp, I used to, I was there, right? And she looked at me dead in my eyes and said, I can open my own door. Thank you. They don't appreciate that shit. They see it as weakness. That's just the truth. I'm sorry. This is just the truth. And women are going to say, you're messing with the wrong type of women. No, you do things for women who deserve it, meaning they have to earn it, right? Again, I'm not bashing the young man, but I hope he sees this video. I remember from about seven years old to about, I want to say like 14 years old, probably around this um, young guy's age. That we just uh, saw. I was raised up by my mother. And when my dad came back into my life, this this didn't they, they didn't separate or anything. It was mainly due to like immigration stuff. You know, I was born in Zambia. And I finally had that male masculine energy and figure in the household. It was different, right? Because I'll be honest with you, man, being raised up by a woman, unintentionally so, she made me soft. From 7 to 14. Because that's her job, right? She's, women aren't there to make a man um, tough and hard. It wasn't really her fault. She was doing her job. A male figure is supposed to balance that softness out. Now, I love my mother. I have an incredible relationship with her. But I remember my dad telling me around the time when I started dating. He said, hey, man, when he saw me falling in love, right, with different, different girls... Um, who, who I wasn't even dating at the time. And he looked at me, he said, hey man, I just want to warn you in an African accent, you know, so it didn't sound like this. He said, some of these women are bad, right? He told me, and you know what I did? I argued with him. I said, nah, dad, it's all about love. <laughs> it's all about love. But little did I know that I was in for some bitter lessons when I found out that Women have to earn that good date. Women have to earn for, you know, that, that, that opening of the door. You got to find out what type of woman you're dealing with. Some women don't appreciate that coming from a man, right? And even more important than knowing how to treat a woman who you care about, because most men who are going to be infatuated in love with women, they're, they're going to go overboard. What's important is to avoid the wrong types of women, right? And let me tell you something, that, that friend of mine who was raised up to open doors for every woman, it took him years to snap out of that mentality. And because he dealt with some vicious women, he was intimidated by women. They made him nervous, right? Because he, he tried to please them, but couldn't. In his mind, he said, you know, you're supposed to open the door for her. When you teach a man to do that, and that's like, you know, the, the blueprint of how to treat a woman, you teach them how to put women on a pedestal. And it took my friend years to finally get out of being 
nervous around women, being intimidated by women. It took him a long time to get rid of that beta mindset that his mom worked so hard to instill in him, right? It's a vicious, it's a vicious world out here, man. Not all these women deserve to be treated like ladies. In fact, I even go further than that. Most of them don't deserve that type of treatment because most of them don't think a man deserves that type of treatment, right? But you don't like that coffee. This coffee smells like shit. But as always, guys, I'm curious to know what you guys thought of the topic. Please comment down below. Thank you for checking out this episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, man. I'm out. Peace.